Hello, welcome to LNC and Knowledge, Lyric's music channel of spiritual insight and wisdom that I will share to you so you can take along your spiritual journey. I hope you're having a good day, good night, wherever you're at. And whenever you see this, make sure that you're prayed up and in that light of Jesus. Okay? Okay. So before we get into this message, I'll use my shamanic drum to cleanse the space, clear the energy, and we will go from there. Okay, so the intuitive message I have for you guys today is you are a spiritual interpreter. So you're very in tune with the divine and the signs. You're very in tune with the messages from the divine is what I'm hearing. You read the messages in this in the room. You interpret the messages everywhere you go through numbers. Um, now God's showing me like you looking at a license plate or something, or you caught an angel number through the license plate, or you interpreted a message through the license plates as you drive. You may have taken pictures of it or something like that. Um, with that being said, uh, how? I'm saying you decoding the numbers. So say it's nine. <clears throat> so say you see nine, just the number nine for one example. And you see that's nine, right? So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But then you write down nine and then you get four, right? Because N-I-N-E. So you interpreting it to four. And then even, even, uh, a four has another four to it. Four is the number four too. I think that's cool. But, um, another thing. So it's like you got four out of the number nine. So just how you seen the number nine, you can decode it into a number four message number four, or maybe message number nine, four, you understand? Um, and also with four interpreting that, that's another four. So then you getting 44, you getting the number 44 out of, um, just from seeing the number nine, you understand? So then you can do spiritual or angel number 44, you know, and that's how you can, I, that's just one way that you break down or interpret messages, or maybe that's not a way you've done it, but I'm just trying to show you. Um, that's one way you can interpret messages also. Um, so with that being said, um, you interpreting messages in the room. So it's like you could see something and like you could see a picture and interpret the message. So say for instance, find your wings and soar. It could be, you could see this randomly and be like, oh, my spirit guides want me to step out my comfort zone. My spirit guides want me to become, reach to the, reach beyond the limits of my thoughts. Because I understand my thoughts may, may be lower forms of me or lower experiences of life. So it's like, um, with that being said, find your wings and soar. You can just interpret messages through that. Like, I think you're. Here's, um, oh my god, now I'm seeing stars, so you get downloads from stargazing is what I'm hearing now, like you look in the sky, you look at stars and you receive messages or you receive comfort, you receive clarity from looking at the stars is what I'm hearing. Um, you probably have to cleanse yourself more than the average person, um, uh, with you being a spiritual interpreter, you deliver messages. You could also be a tarot reader or a psychic, um, a medium. So you speak to spirits. You speak to the dead is what I'm hearing. Or you speak to ent entities that haven't exist on this realm. So it's like, I know this, this is really deep. 
this is super deep and i don't know why it's popping up in my head but a child this looks like um a passed on child and you delivering a message for a child that that was miscarried or something is what i'm hearing or stillborn um that's really deep so you may have never interpreted that before but you're able to do those type of things like people actually if you aren't scared of your power and of your access in life you can literally help guide people and deliver messages from the dead is what i'm hearing messages from the afterlife messages from um spirit the divine so it's like people can um trust your people trust your insight people trust your messages is what i'm hearing so also with you being a spiritual interpreter um you you may spot out other people's birthdays you may see people's birthday times a lot is what i'm hearing um or you just you see you understand things beyond normal comprehension um you have spiritual comprehension is what i'm hearing um you definitely you know how certain people can be like they know or you you've seen certain people in your life and they pass away it could be celebrities somebody and you're like they knew their time was coming and it's like you're so in tune and in touch that you know when your time is coming or you feel like you're not in like a scary way or i know when my time is coming but it's like you're more um aware of how your life is gonna go in this realm is what i'm hearing um, and that shouldn't scare you guys at all or anything, but, um, you just know a lot. Um, you're very obedient with God's messages. So you could also, I could be talking to a YouTuber who's already delivering messages for God through their dreams. So it's like you interpret messages through your dreams, through music. Um, also, like I said, with pictures in the room, if there's passed on loved ones and say they specifically liked, um, unicorns or they like cats or they like dogs and then you see one right after it's like you look deep into those you know how certain people would just be like oh a cat just was on my porch uh today and i don't know why they were on my porch and not certain people don't like cats you know but i'm hearing you some i'm hearing two groups of people you don't mind cats but you don't be around them and i'm hearing another group who does love cats and they read messages so it's like you can communicate with the animals is what i'm hearing or you understand what the animals want um i'm hearing you listen to the birds or you're connected to the bees or something like that or like a bee has touched you before but it didn't sting you or something maybe somebody got stung hey but um i can definitely relate with the bee thing because mind you i'm highly allergic to bees but I went, I've had so many experiences with bees that it no longer concerns me. Like, it no longer makes me feel like something's going to happen to me. And I remember I was on the phone with my grandma outside. And, and now I'm going to tell you guys one, one time before that one. But um, I was at my mother's house and we were outside in the parking lot. And uh, there was a bee that I had a v-neck shirt on that day so my chest was out the bee came onto my chest which means my heart chakra the bee was connected to my heart chakra what well, it, it attra I attracted the bee with my heart chakra and then the bee went into my ear so what does that mean messages they're trying to speak to you you gotta you I look deep into everything and why it's happening um also flies is what I'm hearing um because I just I'm sorry I just switched from topic to topic but Bees send us downloads of information um, from other entities and deities and God also. So it's like you, I'm picturing, because this is what happens to me. So it may not, hey, I may be the only one. I hope I'm not. But uh, bee came to me multiple times. And when they touch me, um, I seen, so I'm hearing like you can see your skin. Your skin glows like, um. It has a radiance to it. Your skin has, when you stare at it in the sun, it starts to look shimmery or like a rainbow colors or it has, your skin has a type of color to it. And it's actual colors like turquoise or blue or purple. It's like, 
your frequency so it's like you're more in tune with your and how your skin is um because i'm just looking at my skin they're telling me to look at my skin right now and it's like i don't even know how to explain this but it's like you just know you're here for something bigger you know this form is you feel like an avian or something is what i'm hearing but also back to the flies they're telling they're drawing me back to the flies again um and the bees so when they touch you immediately when they to get onto your skin they send you these downloads so i take deep breaths in to receive those downloads in that full moment i don't get the animal i said the animal the insects startled to the point where they want to fly away from me no i sit there very still to absorb the messages because i realized with the bees i knew i was getting messages um now i'm hearing that that movie when the girl would talk to the bees or something like that or she had a connection with the bees but another thing um you may have liked that movie but with the flies definitely you know flies come around things when they're dead when they're like maggots and stuff like that or bodies that decay so you know you see those flies that go on their body right also any other body it doesn't have to just be humans but they're taking information they document things they it's like you and i'm seeing those people who um you know when somebody passes away and they have to somebody has to come up to get the evidence to document everything that happened you know how they leave the evidence there for people to like i forgot what you call that but y'all know what i'm talking about but that's what the insects do and they not only do that it's like they can i see a bee getting information from a plant and then sending it to you by touching you not stinging you but some people get stung and they get information too but no, i'm not talking about that way i'm talking about them just being attracted to you and wanting to be on you it's they're giving you information from other plant plants now i'm hearing planets too and other sources is what i'm hearing so you're able to interpret messages through nature through god's insects and his bugs and his spiders i remember i was tapping into the spider spirit so you may have resonance with spiders or something like that but you may have a spider tattoo um or you want one or i don't know but you definitely have a higher calling and a deeper connection with source and god's creation so god can use you as a vessel to speak to other things to relay other messages so say you have a message you want to send off to a spirit or, or god or any entity that's that's not close to you this could be humans or anything and then a bug just like right after you had that conversation of what you wanted to say to somebody a bug gets on you and then it's it's gonna deliver the message for you it's gonna just like how birds would do you know how we would be so connected to birds that they would actually work for us so i'm getting that the energies and entities are and the bugs are working for you they are also your companions like how you have friends and stuff like that human friends they are your insect friends is what i'm hearing so don't be startled and scared and don't kill them is what i'm hearing do not kill them catch them but if you feel like you're in danger obviously you'll have to do that but they don't want you to kill them so <laughs> with that being said that's all i got for you guys i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video peace